Excuse me, mister. This is yours. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'll hold the door for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Superman. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, got you, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hello guys, this is Teacher Pai from Ink Logic and you are watching a special episode of Trust Me, I'm a Ferran. In today's episode, we'll be talking about two things. One, is it true that people in England are no longer using words like thanks or thank you and instead favorite words like wicked, fab or ta? And then number two, should learners learn these words or should they go with the standard thank you or thanks? And here with me is Kenny Wiley from England. Hello, good evening. So Ken, let's just go straight to the point. Is it true that, you know, people in England no longer use words like thank you or thanks, thinking that these two are old fashioned? And that is a really good question. And the answer, I no, I've got to change that. Why? Why are you standing like that? What? Why? What are you doing? Oh man! Thank you. You're welcome. That sort of answers the question. Thank you. We don't say ta wiki, okay? We do, but we don't. If you're talking about street language, slang, language that you use with your friends, yes, we do. We use ta, thanks, tata, wicked, that sort of thing. But really, most English people are still using thanks, thank you. And also, please, because that's very polite, okay? We're using, still using those words and they should always be used, okay? It's dependent on your culture, where you come from, even your family, the answer to this question is really quite simple. If you're talking to people that you don't know very well, or maybe they're from another country, another culture, you're gonna use thanks and thank you. You're not gonna use tar, wicked, so on, because they won't know what the hell you're talking about. All right, let me translate it really quick okay. here. นะครับก็ต้องดูนะครับว่าคุยกับใครถ้าคุยกับเพื่อนกับคนสนิทก็พอไหวแต่ถ้าทั่วไปแบบกว้างๆเนี่ยก็ question is should learners start with these terms mm -hmm. that again a very good question my answer would be be very very careful you can use them, but it depends on who you are talking to. Know your audience, know your target. Is it a foreign? Is it a foreigner? Will they understand you? Maybe. Or is it somebody from Korea or Japan or South America who speaks Spanish? So all they're, in all, they're not gonna understand so you. in all, the point of speaking at all is to communicate yep and if you're shooting for like fancy words so that people cannot understand you yeah you're doing something wrong here yeah you might as well just invent new words uh-huh yeah because so, we speak because we want to communicate yeah yeah 100 percent. it's all about communication if you use words that people don't understand it's not clever it's really stupid ก็น่านะครับอย่างที่เคนบอกเลยฮะสําหรับเลอร์เนอร์เนี่ยก็อยากจะเรียนรู้คําพวกประหลาดๆพวกเนี้ยก็มันก็ได้แต่ว่าเ
So there you have it. Thank you, Ken. Thank you so much. See, why, we do why, say why not ta. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, ta, 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 ta. Thank you, Ken. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye. Episode two. If there's trust me, I'm a Ferran. I'm not a Ferran, of course. Neither am I. Bye, bye. But you are. Bye, bye. 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 ชอบเกิดความรู้ภาษาอังกฤษและเรื่องราวมากมายสเปรย์ระนี่นั่นโน่นติดตามเราได้ที่นี่